Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video on the channel. Today we're going to be going over the most overpowered costume in Gang Beast. This was highly requested in our poll, so we're going to get straight into it. Remember to leave a like on the video if you learned something new here, and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on future videos. Okay guys, so we're here in the customization menu in Gang Beast, and we're going to be showing you how to make this overpowered costume. So to begin with, uh, for your top arrow, not the sound effect, uh, you guys can pick whatever one for that, but this top arrow, is going to be your hat so the most overpowered hat in gang beast which i kind of already made a video on this but i would have to say it's probably the owl eyes um this one really does help and it, if you watch the video it shows you how it increases your headbutt potential and like how you can get way more headbutts with it so i would use the owl hat or the uh, goggles one for this one but I'm gonna keep owl hat just for now. For goggles, it's always nice to have goggles on because it does reduce your headbutt damage that people do to you. So it can reduce the amount of damage somebody does if they try to headbutt you. So it's always nice to have a pair of goggles or something to reduce the blow somebody gives you. So I would definitely say have the scuba goggles on right now uh because they stick out the most out of any of these goggles so i would say scuba goggles for the facial hair i don't really think this does much in the game so any of this really doesn't matter i wouldn't have it because it kind of like interferes with the guy but that's what i would say for your uh beard your third arrow so guys for the outfit now for gang beast this uh fourth arrow that we're going down is uh the costume okay and for this one I wouldn't recommend doing any of these animal costumes because they get rid of your your uh, hat ability, so your goggles on the top, or the owl hat I'm talking about. So they get rid of the owl hat, so that reduces your headbutting abilities, but some of them do have their advantages, like this uh, lizard has a tail on the back, which actually can make it harder for somebody to grab you. So if you want it to make it harder for somebody to grab you, Use this little lizard guy, he has a tail on the back, and it makes it harder for people to grab you and stuff. So I would recommend having any of these outfits that do not hinder your owl hat ability and your scuba goggles. So some of these will take it away, so just keep that in mind. Um, just for appearance, I'm just going to go with uh, the swap man for right now. It really doesn't matter for your outfit wise, just make sure you don't pick a uh, animal skin because it will make sure that it gets rid of your owl hat. Okay, next is your back bling area. So uh, this is where capes and scuba, scuba tanks come in play here. So both the scuba tanks and the cape have great abilities. I would say the scuba tank defends against headbutts while the cape defends against people carrying you. So if you want people to not be able to pick you up so well, I definitely would recommend having a cape on while playing. But if you want to make it so people can't headbutt you from the back, I would have a scuba tank like this one on. So it is up to you. Personally, I would rather have people unable to headbutt me from the back. So. I would say the scuba tank's better for this, but that's just my opinion. You guys can choose either between headbutting, reducing headbutting on you, or reducing people like being able to grab you. So that's up to you. And now for the last area, the legs, I mean the, uh, the pants area. And for this one, it really doesn't matter much because as you can see, none of these outfits really give you anything. So for this last area, you can honestly pick anything. Just make sure, try to make it match with what you're wearing because you don't want to look weird out there, guys. But uh, I'm going to pick this right now. So this is my character that I would say is the most overpowered. This is what I would use. I showed you guys what other outfits have of different abilities. So you can either go for like reducing being people able to grab you. But this is, this is like reducing headbutting on you. So people can't get that instant KO on you which could definitely help in some situations while playing Gang Beast. I know this came in handy many times while I'm playing, and we're actually going to show some clips of me playing uh, Middleman in a little bit, but this is my outfit. This is the most overpowered Gang Beast outfit, I say, in the game. This is my opinion. You guys can go with what I showed you, create your own outfits, leave a comment down below on what you guys think is the most overpowered, and yeah. People can try out everybody what you see in the comments and you pick which one's the best. So on to uh, the 1v1s with me and Middleman. 
Okay guys, so I'm here with the middleman and we're going to be showing you how this outfit reduces people being able to headbutt you and why it's the most overpowered. Okay, so uh, I'm going to stand uh, here with my back turned to the middleman and so try to come from behind me and headbutt me. See? Come do it a couple more times. Maybe, uh, see you guys? Okay, stop there middleman. Um, usually that would be a devastating headbutt so stand still and i'll show you what it looks like from my area without him having the backpack on okay okay see instant headbutt knockout that was instant and it took three tries on him on me and it didn't even knock me out so that's why i think the scuba tank is necessary guys because it really reduces people being able to hit you and that could be really useful in these games and can help you get some close wins and some very tough situations another benefit of the scuba tank guys is that it prevents you from knocking yourself out while trying to do a drop kick me personally i have knocked myself out many times while trying to do a drop kick in this game uh, and holding it for too long and your head banging against the ground and you knock yourself out and it's just really stupid um the scuba tank eliminates that so as you can see when i'm drop kicking it stops me right on the floor Okay, so you'll never actually touch the ground for your head to hit it. So, no more having to worry about you knocking yourself out while headbutting. You can hold it for as long as you want. No headbutt. And you can still knock people out while doing drop kicks, as you can see. Works really well. And so it eliminates the knocking yourself out. And it also reduces you sliding. So, accidentally slide off the side of a map. See, he knocked himself out there but I didn't so also um guys it eliminates the sliding in the game so you will not be sliding which can come in handy if you accidentally are like sliding off a stage uh, this thing will stop it and you will not be sent flying over the edge because it reduces that it almost stops you exactly where you land so that's pretty cool so I already covered what the owl hat does for this costume um, in an other video titled uh, Overpowered Hats in Gangby. So if you want to know how the owl hat looks, uh, you can take a look at that video. But basically, in a quick rundown of what that video talks about, uh, the headbutt is more effective and you will knock people out faster with the owl hat rather than wearing nothing. That's just, it's just, it's just how it works. I don't know why. The goggles in this outfit, guys, they prevent you from being attacked while moving around while being headbutt and can also help deflect some of the damage while being headbutt from front on even though being headbutt from the front is almost if you're standing still is almost like a almost guarantee knockout uh, it helps reduce some of that while running around and can help prevent some serious damage to you so now guys we're going to show some 1v1s between me and the mailman you guys can see for yourself how well this costume works out so Okay, as you guys can see from those 1v1s, this outfit is really effective, so I would definitely recommend using this in your regular games. Thank you so much for watching the video, guys. Please comment down below on what videos you guys want us to do in the future. Remember to leave a like if you learned something new. So yeah, guys, that's all we have for this video. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below, and we'll make sure to answer them. Other than that, we'll see you in the next video. Peace.